Alright, so good day everyone and welcome back to Mr. Vries tutorial class. So last time we discussed about the basic operations in math and we are done in with addition, multiplication, and division. So today we're going to do the last operation in math which is a subtraction. So we're going to discuss today subtraction of integers so just a recall again when we say integers these are the numbers that had positive sign and negative sign so by that means so let's proceed with our discussion of subtraction rule but before we do that let's have a short review of the parts of a subtraction sentence so the number that you are subtracting from is what we call the minuend. And the number you are subtracting is what we call the subtrahend. And finally, the answer to your subtraction sentence is what we call the difference. So we only got one rule in subtraction of integers. And this one is generally the rule for all kind of subtrahend and minuend that you will get so the general rule in subtracting integers is that you need to keep the sign of your minuend then change the operation to addition then lastly change the sign of your subtrahend So, most of the time, we hear this rule as KCC, -C, which means keep, change, and change. So, that is our acronym for this rule, KCC. Alright, so let's proceed with some examples of or the general rule, let's put it on the general rule. So if you have negative a minus b, this will give you showing that rule. So keep the sign of your mean win. So it means it's still negative a. Change the operation to addition. So change. So this is subtraction. It becomes addition. And since your subtrahend is positive, it will become positive it becomes negative okay and then just proceed with the rule in addition so we got negative a plus negative a will give you negative a plus b okay so what if i have a negative subtrahend so we got negative a minus negative b so again keep the sign of your first term or your mean wind so that is negative a then proceed to addition change the sign of your subtrahend so it becomes plus b and this will become so whatever rule that we have on addition if it is if b is greater than a then you will get a positive answer then subtract b minus a if b is less than a then you will get a negative answer then you will subtract a to b okay that's our rule 
then what if we have positive minuend? So we got A minus B. So what will happen is keep the sign of your minuend. So that's A. Then change the sign or change the operation to addition. Then change the sign of your subtraction. Since this is positive, it becomes negative B. And that will bring us to another rule like this. So if B is greater than A, then you will get a negative answer. Then subtract B to A from subtract A from B. Then if you have B is less than A, then you will get positive answer. Then you will subtract A to B from B from A. Then last rule, if you have positive again, minus negative B, that will give us A, keep the sign of your minuend, proceed to addition, and then change the sign of your subtrahend so it becomes positive B. Then that is gives you positive of the sum of A plus B. Alright, so that is our general rule in subtracting integers. So now we're going to proceed with some examples. So here is our example. So for example, for number 11, if you have 2 minus negative 2, so keep change change, so you will get, let's put it in the red pen. So you will get 2, keep the sign, minus, or proceed to addition, and change. So it becomes positive 2. So that will give us 2 plus positive 2 is positive 4. Alright? Then example number 11. Keep the sign of the first number. Proceed to addition. And change the sign. So this is positive. So it becomes negative 10. And that will give me negative 1 plus negative 10. So both are negative. So copy the sign and add the number. That will give me 11. So for this case, we got 8, change the sign or operation, and change it to negative. And that will give us 8 plus negative 7, so bigger, 8 is bigger, so it becomes positive. Then subtract the number, 8 minus 7 is 1. And that is our answer. Alright. And then on 14, example number 14, we have negative 8. Proceed to addition and change your sign of your subtrahend so it becomes positive 6. That gives us, so negative 8 is bigger than 6, so we'll take the sign of that and subtract the number. 8 minus 6 is 2. Next is number 15. You got 11 minus 4. So you can just simply, both are positive and then it's subtra subtraction, so you get positive. Then 11 minus 4 is 7. Alright, so for number 16, you got 48. Sign is your, your subtraction, so it becomes positive. And then since this is negative, it becomes positive. And that gives us... Add them together, 79. And that is positive. Okay, so the same thing on number 17. So copy the subtract minuend, proceed to addition, change the sign of your subtrahend. So 41 is bigger than 18, so that's negative. And then subtract it, sub, then subtract 18 from 41, since 41 is bigger than 18. So 41 minus 18 is 23. So the answer here is negative 23. Okay, so for number 18, you got the subtract minuend of negative 38. Proceed to addition, change the sign of this. Is, this is positive, it becomes negative 30. All right. So negative plus negative is negative, then add the number, and that is 68. 
all right so next one is here so copy the first number which is negative one proceed to addition and then change the sign of your second number so since three is bigger than one we proceed with that sign so it becomes positive then subtract the number three minus one is two and that is positive two same with number 20 negative one proceed to addition and change the sign of your second number which is positive 40 so it will become positive 40 so positive is big positive 40 is bigger than negative one so we'll take the sign of that and subtract the number 40 minus 1 is 39 and that is our answer so that's it for today see you again on our next video mr v's tutorial